I've spent over 100,000 credits trying to learn everything you need to know about VO2 in FreePik AI. And in this video, I will show you how you can make cool videos like this. I will go over the best methods, including sharing my prompts to create these tiny workers videos, which are super trending on TikTok right now. And I will break down how you can make a cool cinematic movie trailer like this. Now everything you've seen so far was all generated using FreePik AI. And if you're not familiar with this tool, it is basically an all-in-one AI tool that can generate images with Google Image Gen, Mystic, Flux and Ideogram. It can then take those images and upskill them using Magnific AI to get the best quality for them. And then the last step is to use the image to video generators like Kling, VO2, Luma or Minimax which are all built within FreePik AI too. Honestly, it's kind of sick that you have all of the latest versions of the best AI tools into one place, because I'm currently spending well over $100 a month in AI video and image tools. Now, a tool like Magnific AI, for example, I need it, but I only use it rarely, but that still cost me like 40 bucks a month. Now with FreePik, you can just use this with just one subscription. And if you want to try out FreePik AI for yourself, then click the link in the description and use the special discount code that FreePick gave me. They were kind enough to sponsor this video so I could test out VO2 and I asked them in return if they could drop a discount code and it's very limited so be there fast. First up I will show you how you can make these kind of videos using Google Image Gen 3 and also VO2. So after logging in into FreePick you want to go over to the AI suit and then you go over to AI Image Generator. Here you want to start creating your first image. For this, we'll be using Image Den 3. In my opinion, this works the best, but you could also try out something like Flux, for example. Now, then you need to describe your image. And for this, I have prepared a prompt that you can use in ChatGPT to generate your images. So if you want to create cool images that you can then turn into a video like this, for example, then you can take a look at this document. I will link that in the description down below, and then you can just copy my prompts or you can use this prompt format that I've written down right here. Now for this example, I want to do a rubber duck being lifted. So I'm gonna copy this prompt right here. Then I'm gonna go over to FreePick. And then for the style and the mode, I'm gonna choose photo and then you can also play around with the effects for example you can do something like a gold glow but we're not going to do it for this image and then we click on generate so now we have our first example if you like this then you can straight up use it but what i also do sometimes is i just generate like four of them at the same time and then i will have like four different images and this will go a lot faster in deciding which is the best one but if you do this, make sure you have good prompting. So always test out with one image first so you don't waste your credits. And by the way, I will break down the pricing and the credits later in this video. Now, from all of these images, this one is my favorite. So what we're going to do is we click on edit and now we're going to go over to upscale. And here you use Magnific as the upscaler. And this is, in my opinion, the best upscaler that's on the market right now. You can now play around with the creativity, the HDR, the resemblance. So most of the times I just leave it at zero, but I play around with it for a little bit. So you can use the upscale factor, two times is enough for me. And now your image will be upscaled. The image is now upscaled and you can see the before and after if you drag over this slider. Now you don't have to do this part. If you wanna save up your credits, then don't do this. But in my opinion, it will give more details into your video. So I'm always using the upscaler. So now we can export it and download it. And then we go over back to create. And here we're gonna use the video tab. Here you can either upload the downloaded image that we've just downloaded, or you can click on this one and you use this one to create a video from it. So now we have to select the model that we want to use. In my opinion, you could actually also use Kling 1.6 standard or 1.6 pro for this. But for this video, we're going to test out Google VO2. Now we want to make it moving. So I have prepared a prompt right here. So a dynamic video capturing a surreal city scene where a giant rubber duck is being hoisted by a crane. So now we're going to paste it in there and we're going to click generate. You have a few options. You can change the length. 
with VO2, you can do a maximum of eight seconds. So not 10 seconds, just five and eight seconds. And then you can also choose between 16 by nine or nine by 16. So we're gonna click on generate. And now this will take like a minute, maybe two minutes. It depends on how busy these servers are. So the video is now done. And if we play it, then we see that it looks pretty good. We even have like the brake lights of a car going on. We have people walking around. There's not that much motion going on, but it's a slow like crane type of lift. So I actually really like it. With these prompts that I shared right here, you can make some pretty creative concepts. So I have this dinosaur right here. Here you can see that dinosaur moving around, which is pretty cool to me. Then I have this giant tea bag that's getting dipped into the water. And if you make it moving, then it's even cooler. And then I had the idea of doing like a giant sushi roll that is being dipped into a lake in New York City. So this one looks a bit fake to me, but the concept is pretty cool. Now, those type of videos are already pretty cool, but what I'm about to show you next will blow your mind. I've been seeing around these cool type of TikTok Instagram videos with tiny workers working on like a giant cake, and it looks so cool to me. So I will actually show you how this is done. So I've prepared another document for this for you guys, in which I will demonstrate like how you can make these images and how you can turn those images into videos using Freepik AI. So for this, what we want to do is we want to go up to using this template right here. Now, what you can do with this template is you can copy this prompt right here. Then you can go over to ChatGPT and you say, using this template, give me some fun ideas. And then you paste in the template and then let's see what it generates. So here we have an idea with a giant chocolate bar. Then we have a close up of a coffee bean. And then basically, once you have an idea that you'd like, then you can ask it to make the prompt for this using the template. So for example, right now we're getting the prompt for a giant chocolate bar and it has just written in it. We just copy this and then we put this into image gen and then we just paste it in there. We select the style, which is photo, and then we click on generate. So right now we already have a pretty cool photo, but let's try another few times. So let's do like eight times. And then we have something like this. Now the next step is choosing your photo and then you have to write a good prompt in order for this to work. And in my opinion, for this, Kling 1.6 might actually work better than Google VO2. I will show you what I mean by that, by simultaneously generating the same video using both Kling and VO2. So to come up with the prompt for the video, I'm going to go back to the template. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to say, using this format, write me a dynamic prompt for this chocolate bar. So yeah, now we have our prompt. We can just copy this. Just make sure it is good enough because, for example, it has a river of melted chocolate slowly oozes down on one side. Now, we don't have that going on on our image right here. So we might have to adjust it a little bit. So that's what exactly what I'm gonna do. And then I generate something like this. Okay, so as our first example, we have Google VO2. As you can see, it didn't quite work. And I will show you some more examples why I think this trend doesn't quite work with VO2. Here we have Kling 1.6 standard. Now here it quite works. We have some movement going on on the workers. And then we have 1.6 Pro. Not much different from the standard. I both like them and like the standard one is cheaper than the Kling 1.6 Pro. So it's up to you which one you choose. Now, here I have another example with a piece of steak that's being cut by those miniature workers. Now, first off with Google VO2, as you can see, this tiny dude there is just like yeeting the night across the steak, but the rest of them is doing nothing. Now, if we try this with a runway, then not much is going on. There's just smoke coming off of the steak. Then if we go over to like Kling 1.6 standard, this one looks quite good, like with everyone moving around and it looks quite professional. Now, lastly, we have Minimax. And in my opinion, like the one from Kling is the best one. And you can try this out with anything that you can imagine. For example, I did it with this pizza. I also did it with like filler injectors into someone's lips. And with all of them, Kling 1.6 came out best. Next up, I wanna dive in a little bit about cinematic video creation using VO2, because this is quite amazing. The intro video that you saw was all generated 
and using Imagen and VO2. And honestly, it's getting quite good. And what I did with this, I made a storyboard. So I wrote down all of my scenes. I didn't end up using all of them, but you get the idea. Then I started writing out my prompts and I used these kind of prompts. Then I put them into Imagen and then out comes an image like this. Now, the next step is to upscale those images. I've already shown you that. And then you put your upscaled image into the video generator and out comes a video like this. Now, what you have to do after that is what most people are not doing is you need to upscale your video because with the new feature that they have built into this, it is called like Topaz Labs. This is also another like very expensive tool that they've built into this. You could literally upscale your resolution. So you could make it 4K and you can upgrade the frame rate. So you can go from like 24 frames per second to like 60 frames per second, which is huge if you want to do something like slow motion into your videos. So if you do this, then this will cost you around 750 credits and I will break down the pricing in a minute. Another example that I want to share with you is this clown video that you see right here. This entire video was created using VO2 and it was all created using text to video only. So back then, image to video wasn't available yet. So this guy used text to video and it's actually quite amazing what you can do if you keep the prompting style consistently. Now, if you want the best result, I would always advise to stay with image to video because then you will save more credits as image generation is cheaper and you will also have more control over the scene that you're generating. Lastly, I want to dive into the pricing because VO2 is quite expensive and it doesn't really matter if you're using it on free pay or if you're using it directly on Google VO2, it is quite expensive. Now, if you go over to your credits in FreePick AI, you can actually see how many images you can create using the different models. If you go over to videos, then you can see how many videos you can create using the different models that they have available. And if you click on see more, you will actually see a breakdown of all the credits usage per tool. So if you click on AI video, you will see the detailed breakdown right here. I actually put this in a small table for you to view how expensive it is in terms of euro. So these prices are all calculated using the monthly plan of Freepik Premium. Keep in mind this is in euro as I'm located in Europe. And with that you can see the different prices per tool. So if we go down you can see that Google VO2 will cost you like 80 cents per generation which is quite expensive if you compare it to like Kling 1.6 Pro. It's like twice that expensive. Now, tools like Magnific and Topaz Labs actually offer good value for their money because with Magnific AI, I actually have a subscription on that platform too. It costs you the same to generate either on that platform directly or on Freepik AI. Now, the benefit of Freepik AI is that it has everything in one place. So you can play around with it without having to have multiple different subscriptions. Now, if you want to try out Freepik AI yourself, then I will leave a link for that in the description down below. And I will also leave a discount code. I'm sure that one will run out fast, so be with that quick. And other than that, if you want to learn how you can use AI to edit your videos, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will explain to you the AI tools that I use to edit my videos.